Hi friends, I am Shorak. So welcome to Technical Skill Linux. So in this video, I am going to show how to install Jira software management software on Ubuntu 18.04. Here I am using Google Cloud. So basically Jira software is part of a family of product designed to help team of all type manage work. So originally Jira was designed as a bug and issue tracker but today Jira was involved into a power full management work tool for all kind of use case right. So and also that Jira software is that is uh, dev DevOps one of the most uh, important tool of the DevOps. Okay, so let's start uh, the lab. Okay, so here uh, you can see that that is my Google Cloud platform. I am just click here, and I am here. I am just launch a VM. So just go and just Google Cloud and also use continue. Here I am type. Jira, right? So okay, now Ubuntu. And just change the change the Ubuntu parting system. So the Ubuntu 18.04 storage is for 20 GB enough for that. Uh, if you want to, if you as your requirement, so I'm. Um, my the testing testing purpose is 20 gb enough for that i'm just allow http and also https okay, now just create you can see my jira server is ready so now i am just take the console so yes uh, yes i get the console hmm. here i am here i am check the um, my server version so here the version is uh, ubuntu 18.04 right so first step i'm just go root okay now i am change the font size from here small largest so we can See better properly. Okay. So now I'm just first of all I just update my server. You can see that update uh, for my Ubuntu server. So within few minutes, uh, twelve packages can be up. So now I have not everything here. I'm just copy from my command already written there. Uh, is best. Um, that command is there for. Okay. Now uh, it's install Java uh, because uh, Jira is need to Java, so uh, that's why uh, I install Java JDK. So is Java is installing. Oh, yes, Java is done. So now I'm just check the version. Just Java minus version. So we can see uh, JDK version 11 uh, that is need to install. So now next comment that is alternative Java if you want to want this default. Uh, my server nothing to one ever now issue so now next 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 step is create to automation require information variable so i'm just for java uh, variable into the java variable for that um, okay here i'm just put the variable my java
so yeah i can see export java home yes next is just for reboot for reboot uh, i'm just reboot the server uh, because i have installed java and changed some configuration so just saying reboot so here uh, just refresh the refresh uh, because i am just a uh, reboot for install java now once again i get the connection right, so now i can one second enter the root okay so i'm changing the size now uh, now use now i'm just verify the java home variable was uh, created or not so i'm just checking yes it is created for java uh, java home so now next step is just go java hotz now you already check that next step is just install mysql it or it need to mysql install so i'm just copy from here code mysql and some and also mysql client yes i want to continue uh, yes uh, mysql is installed uh, next step is just create a mysql java uh, download the uh, My mysql java connector uh, okay so and this creator creator mysql directory now enter the directory so and next download the mysql connector you can see that is installed mysql connector so now next step i am just unzip the command Yes, let's unzip it. Next step is that next step is edit the MySQL CNF for uh, for configuration. I'm just copy from here. Okay, now I'm just copy for all thing. All thing that's into. I am just faced. So everything I faced are from my school connector. Now I just uh, restart the MySQL because I changed some files, so that's why I did, need to restart MySQL service. So okay, MySQL service restart. So yes, MySQL connector or MySQL service restart. Now I'm enter the MySQL root. Into the password and login, so I'm just so databases. So you can see uh, that is base, that is default MySQL database. So now I am created database, uh, created data my uh, for database and also that uh, user first command that all. Uh, my database name is Zira and connector set for uh, and now I am create a user. So, so next step, uh, I want just create a MySQL user. Uh, user also same Jira and set the identify by the password. Uh, I set the password. Now I just can privilege on Jira user and then I solved so Jira. Uh, it's all done. So now I'm just exit from here.
so next step is next step is just install uh, install zira okay and for download and, and after then install so uh, jira install jira will install the package from official site so first of all i make a directory so download after download so on jira as a folder so enter the uh, jira folder Uh, next step is download uh, for uh, Jira. Uh, so we can see that uh, Jira is downloading. Yes, it's downloading that. So now I'm just check it's download or not. So we can see uh, Jira is in. No, I'm. Uh, and G for that um, so I'm just on G the Jira and just OTP folder yes uh, it's on G so now I'm go to uh, can see uh, that folder is unzip for Jira. Uh, next step is that link for how to be Jira. Okay. So uh, next I am just create a directory for Jira home next step download the download copy the mysql connector so and now i am just go the change the permission so this need to two permission okay uh, over here so permission also done so next step is that you need to create a improbable variable name java so let's start uh, create a file let's start uh, file to create automatic required improbable variable configuration so okay from just copy now enter now set the variable path java variable path set and exit from here now once again uh, i need to reboot reboot my server now come here and refresh once again open the browser okay so once again enter the root so all configure all configure configure uh, is done. So now I am just go to start the Jira service. Okay, Jira service is everything Tomcat started. So you can see here log every every file. Okay, so Tom, Tomcat started. Now I am just check. So where yeah, you can see that is file uh, that is my square and also I uh, see yes. So you can see that uh, at zero at zero port is zero port. Okay. So now um, because that is Tomcat service, so that's why it get the eight zero eight zero. So first of all, I need to uh, allow the firewall in my server. Uh, for a zero eight zero that is I have already allowed allow in my server a zero eight zero port now I am just copy my IP and that for here paste and now I am put the zero eight zero port number that is zero number so yes you can see successful to install now I am just get the uh, install uh, for configuration so right so it will uh, uh, my setup so just so uh, it 
itself to set up um, of myself because set up myself set up con configures uh, for uh, Jira instance manually so that is for production in environment so I want to use that production environment so that's why I'm just installed it myself and select the myself and next So now I have already created the current database connect. So that's why I want I want database. Uh, my database version is 7.5. Uh, host name local host. DB name uh, Jira. Username also same Jira. Password. Password is that. I have set the new password so password is that uh, here we just come here uh, that is my password high school password technical authority one two three first so local was done port number same database jira and username jira everything is done so now next click on next Uh, please wait while the database set up. So it, it, this may take a minute. Okay, my database also uh, complete. So set up the application properties now. Update my database. Okay, no thanks. And now URL is same. So okay, okay. There is more two uh, two modes. One is administrator. One can new user. So you can see public also that public anyone can use Okay. If you want private and public, so I think that is public because it's, it is a, this here I use only for for uh, our networks in our company. So that's why I don't want to public. So I want to private. So right. So that's why public private next next. Uh, URL is same. Okay. So here that is most important. So you can see specific your license key. You need to license key to set up Jira. So enter the license key or generate new key the below. So you need to account uh, from Jira and generate a license. So I have already uh, uh, license. So now I am just generate a Jira license here from here. That is my ID. Now I'm just generate the license. Uh, yes, uh, it confirmed that is my server. So yeah, you can see that that is my trial license. All right. So my license key here I have already faced. So now continue next. Uh, so yes, setup is done. Uh, my license is accepted. So now enter your full name. Full name. Email address. If you have the email address, so now just type. And that is uh, not my email address. That email address GCP. Username, uh, username, tech name, call Sora. Okay, and let's type the password. Just confirm one second password, and that is that is my username. You can also change your as your username. So now next. Oh. So here that is the email notification. If you want to uh, SMTP configuration, definitely you just configure your SMTP. Okay, I want to uh, confirm the. I want to. Um, I want to uh, configure the SMTP because it, it's very important to get notification any update the Jira. So right. So now I'm just configure the SMTP. So yes, now. Mm, here everything from your uh, SMTP uh, here SMTP details I am just uh, 
post yeah smtp port number is same lts okay username username so now is all configure i have done so i will um, form flat that is now i click on next So here welcome to Jira Sorab Malik. Uh, okay. So before we begin, choose the language. I want to default English. I uh, no change. Let's continue. So as you let's start. Um, let's get started. So you need that's all everything. Now I'm just click the next. So the Jira is complete. So now you can upload your project. You can create a new project. Okay. So basically I'm just a new project uh, okay, for testing for what so project management uh, plan track and report so, okay mm. next uh, yes do to do in process or done okay work we'll for that so now project name is wordpress uh, project name is woft project okay uh, now I'm um, just submit. So okay, now you see that it's all not done. Mm, right. So your project now. now I'm going to download my project name is that. Uh, now if you are, I if you want to create the issue, so I'm just create the issue. So here, uh, I'm just. Uh, one issue here submit mm. now open open in dialog so uh, for summary work and tasks uh, who is report mm, date submit but now same need to go for up money report uh, summary need to configure create it so you can see uh, that project is one project you need to configure so that uh, it means my one project to uh, so that will task type medium unsolved label okay report uh, sort of more like uh, one so everything you can see one another user also get the login uh, the your kit zero so uh, here you also can see every report on the this project okay so to start process so so now you can see in startup is in progress right and it means it working in this project so need to configure this issue is is that for in progress right so if you want to assign so you can also assign name okay comment edit everything is stop down if you want process uh, this uh, uh, resolve this issue is resolved so now you just you click on done so that means this post this issue is done now you can go as summary so very easy so your your project manage manage your project report or testing so it's very easy for monitoring your all projects right so you can see uh, that is sort of okay need comment for everything so very very interesting report and you can generate the report here just click the report so you see the report okay for that so that's all in this video okay uh, so now you can also just save your just your just hit so that's what welcome welcome to Jira okay so um if you want to sign out so just click here from the sign out so you sign out login once again though you will need to use the name and also password i have first all technical sort of password is that my password now login now login once again so you can see once again you login that your dashboard uh, here so everything for your your project right so that's all uh, in this video
so if my video is any help to you so then please subscribe my channel so if you get next video so then please subscribe and like my video so thank you thank you for watching my video